Look, I had to come in and do a quick update for you guys on my wig life, okay? That would be the wig that I'm rocking on my damn head and how everything's been going with it, as well as the hair that is on my head that's on this particular piece. Right up and through here, you guys know, when I rock my my wigs, my weaves, or whatever the fuck, your girl rocks that shit for a good minute and a half so I can give you guys a full uh, look at exactly what the fuck is going on, right? Right, okay? So... I'm gonna need y'all to disregard the little titty pimples that I have somewhere up and through here. It's all up on my titty, okay? And uh, disregard that shit. I'm just glad that I got the little hair to go ahead and, you know, rest over it ever so, okay? However, I wanted you guys to get an idea of the, the love that I have for this damn hair that I have on my damn head, okay? And to give you guys the specs, let you guys know what I found with this hair so far, give you guys some tips or whatever the case may be and all that good stuff, okay? So first up, just to give you guys an idea, if you guys have not checked out the initial review of this hair, I will leave it down in the description box so y'all can check it out so you guys can see uh, about the wig and how it looks because I'm not gonna take the, the wig off, obviously, but I do showcase what the wig looks like underneath in that video, so I will leave it in the description box for you guys to check out. Plus, this video is part of a playlist, so it is the video right before this one, okay, in this playlist, all right? So, as you guys already know, this is a wig, okay, that I had made for me. It has Princess Hair Shop hair all over it, okay? And the hair that I'm rocking in my head is the Malaysian Straight Texture from Princess Hair Shop, okay? And I have four bundles in my damn head, including a closure from Princess Hair Shop as well, okay? I have 24, uh, two bundles of 24 two bottles of 26 in my head, okay? So, as you guys can see here, it's nice and long, it's past the titty and the titty pimple as well, okay? I'm not wearing a bra today, so disregard that shit as well, okay? And uh, let me go ahead and back up so you guys can see the top part of my head. I'm very accustomed to being really close to the camera, so I actually like being like this. So if you see that I do that, just tell me back the fuck up, bitch. I mean, you ain't got to say bitch, but you know, unless it's lovingly. Okay. Anyway, so this is the wig that I've been rocking for the last few months now and just to give you guys an idea, all the specs for everything is down in the description box, including where you can buy this hair if you're interested in addition to any other hair texture from Princess Hair Shop. I always leave it in the description box of all of my videos, okay? So if you ever wonder what hair I'm wearing, it's always linked in the description box somewhere down below, okay? So like I said, I'm rocking the four bundles and y'all, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all on some real shit, y'all know I keep it fucking with y'all, this hair is life. And not even that, but just wearing a wig. This has been such a thing for me for the longest time. I have been so nervous about how this whole wig situation was going to be for not only me, but even for my husband who's not accustomed to seeing me wear wigs on a regular basis. I would try them out every now and again, but for the most part, because I was a weave head, I would just go right back to the damn weaves. I would do a ponytail like you guys have seen earlier when I was trying to give my hair some reprieve, but now I am really trying to work really hard on trying to grow back these motherfucking edges, okay? Um, in addition to the fact that I just want to have my hair breathe a little bit so when I go to sleep at night I either wear a satin cap or a scarf or whatever and I'm not really doing much with my own personal natural hair. You guys know I am natural, okay? So I will be doing a video updating you guys on my natural hair journey and what I've been doing as of yet because I've been doing pro using products to actually help with that process and just learning a little bit about the process as well. Of course, it's all trial and error but I will let you guys know what I fucked up on and what I've uh, been successful with, okay, in future videos, all right? So anyway, so far this hair has been absolutely fucking amazeballs. First and foremost, I thought because of how long it was going to be that I was going to be quick to cut it. You guys know if you follow me for a while here on the channel that whenever I go past 24 inches, this bitch cuts the damn hair. I have not cut this hair because I absolutely love it, number one. And if I ever get tired of wearing long hair, I could just take it off. So that's been really nice. Um, as far as tangling and all of those types of things, you guys know, I mean, I am constantly playing with my hair. I'm constantly running my fingers through it. And I have absolutely zero problems with tangling especially for how long it is okay and as far as matting up and those kinds of things I experienced zero of that and you guys know I'm first at noticing that type of thing because I always wear my hair to the front and when you have a tendency to do that it's easy for your hair to nap up in the back especially where I split the damn hair okay I never wear it in the back I have no idea why it's been a habit of mine forever for years okay so that is the one thing that I can definitely say and as far as how it curls and how long the curls last, these are several, oh gosh, this is probably over a week long curls. 
This is easily over a week and a half, possibly long curls, okay? And I will be doing a styling video very shortly showcasing what I do to style the hair, what I use to style my hair, so stay tuned for that video as well. Y'all, I'm in video shooting mode, so you're gonna see a lot of videos from your girl, okay? And um, as far as curling, the curls last so damn long. The the one thing I can say is, of course, with any hair texture, when you first wash it, naturally the hair the hair is gonna fall a little quicker. The, the cleaner the hair is when you curl your hair whether you use a wand or a curling iron I've been wanding my hair for the most part because I love having that loose uh, wavy curl look I don't like having any tight curls in my hair and I've been using uh, a special wand so I'll tell you guys about that soon and so far it's just been it's been great I literally put this bad boy on my little my wig head, my mannequin head, my little foam mannequin head. I need to get a real one, but that's what I have for right now. I stick that motherfucker on there and I keep it moving when it's time for me to go. I just pluck this motherfucker on my head and I'm good, right? So as far as that's concerned, that has been absolutely fabulous. Uh, another thing I can tell you about this hair is it doesn't like a lot of product and it really doesn't need it, okay? So what I noticed when I first actually started putting, you know, putting curls in my hair, one of the things that I um, noticed that it, the cleaner it is the like I said the the shorter the curls last and that's just with any hair texture but this one in particular especially the longer the hair because it is a little bit denser as you guys can see it is a nice um, there's a nice thickness to the hair which is great four bundles was perfect for me okay but you could easily do three bundles with this hair and I think you could easily get away with it if you don't like denser hair okay and, and, and heavier hair but it's not super duper heavy it is heavier okay than like an Indian texture or whatever the case may be all right so I'm gonna tell you that right off the top the other thing is it doesn't like a lot of products. So the more product that you add to it, the the harder it's going to be to really maintain the curl. So you really don't need to apply any product on this hair whatsoever ever for it to do what it's supposed to do. And like I said, the curls last forever. These curls have been, these waves have been in my hair for well over a week and a half at least. I very rarely have to put heat on this head. And then when I finally do, then I can just leave it alone for over a week or whatever the case may be until I wash it and keep it the fuck pushing, okay? As far as it bouncing back after a wash, it is absolutely amazeballs. It's absolutely beautiful hair. You guys know I work out a lot and I'm also one that perspires a lot. So I'm one of those people who I'm going to always have to constantly wash my wigs. And that's what I've been constantly doing. So that's been great as well. And I've just been just using my usual shampoos. I will tell you guys about that in future a future video as well. So you guys know some of the products I've been using to wash my wigs as well as my own natural hair. Okay. But as far as the hair texture goes and what I think of it and whatever the fuck it may be, it's amazing. I love this hair texture and I was really wanting to dye it when I first got the hair. I'm not going to lie. Like I was like, oh my God, I'm going to stay black for a little while. And I just really want to change my hair color and I definitely want to try some more textures out um, and different lengths and different styles. And I just really want to play around with these wigs because I've been absolutely loving this whole wig life thing. Um, but now that I've really experienced this hair, I don't want to touch it. I don't want to manipulate it. I don't want to take a chance on messing with the texture of the hair because it's drop dead fucking gorgeous. And I know you guys can see it in the videos. I know when I first showcased the hair, you guys were like, bitch, life has been given. And I totally agree, okay? So I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know this hair is absolutely amazeballs. It's beautiful ass hair. This wig is life, okay? I mean, I love it. And I'm not doing shit to this hair. It's not gonna get cut. The only thing I'm gonna do is I might wind it every once in a blue moon and go ahead and get it washed whenever I need to wash it, okay? But it's beautiful, okay? So I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know, y'all need to get you some hair from Princess Hair Shop. Y'all know Princess Hair Shop has some of the most amazing hair textures on the planet. I have been working with them for a while and I've done many reviews for their hair textures and I have just never been led astray at all whatsoever. And there's a lot of you that have tried Princess Hair Shop and absolutely love it. So make sure you guys check out the link down below. Make sure you get you, get you some, some her, okay? They got sales all the time. You can follow them on Instagram as well at Princess Hair Shop too. And they have amazing textures. You guys can see a lot of people with celebrities and all kinds of people wear their hair. So check out the link down below. Get you some hair, boo-boo. Or get somebody else some hair. Whatever you got to do, okay? Buy a bundle every now and again. Add to your little collection or whatever. And uh, yeah, y'all, that's about it. I will be coming out with some more videos. And of course, if you guys want to see know about this foundation right here because can you see this foundation? 
drop dead fucking amazing, okay? As well as this lippy and whatever the fuck I have else on my face. There is a video coming out soon for that. If it's out, I will leave it down below. It's a first impressions video, so look in the description box to see if it's there. If it's not, it will be coming out very shortly on the foundation that is on my face as well as a swatch video for some lip products that I'm testing out as well, so that will be a separate video. So I want to make sure to tell you guys that in case you guys are wondering what's on my face, because y'all... <sighs> mm. Okay. Anyway, thumbs up this video if you love seeing these videos from your girl and you already know what to do as always. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash social Sandy. Hit me up on my Facebook fan page and my Pinterest page. Those links are always down below. Hit me up on my blog, the socialitelife.blogspot.com and hit me up on Instagram at socialite Sandy. And you already know I love y'all and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye. Oh, your girl Sandy yeah, yeah, y'all. We back up in this motherfucker for another motherfucking video. How y'all living, fam? Hope everyone's having a great day.